In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a highlight for your Instagram page or your Instagram story. It's gonna be really easy to follow along with, so you're not gonna get kind of stressed or overwhelmed. You're gonna know exactly what you're doing by the end of this video. First up, I need to introduce you to this brilliant program called Canva. Chances are you may have heard of it already, but if not, you've got to check it out. This is a free account that you can use and everything that you see in the video, you'll be able to do on this free account. It's brilliant because you can take control of your whole social media uh, with this program. Now I do everything with all of my social media accounts on Canva. Now I use the Pro account, it costs me 10 pound a month, but for what I use and the time I save, it's an absolute steal but you can use the free account in this video. So let's just jump in and get started. So what we wanna do is we wanna create an Instagram um, story highlight or an Instagram highlight for your page. Now, the way we're gonna do it in this video is we're gonna go on and click on Instagram story. The brilliant thing about using an Instagram story is it's gonna give you the dimensions that you need or that will fit in your Instagram story perfectly. So now you've got the dimensions, we wanna go ahead and create a really nice background. We're just gonna use a solid color for this. So go ahead and click background and then choose a color. Now, if you want to change the color and you don't particularly like these tones, you can actually come along to this option at the front here and then you can go new color and then drag this along to choose a color. And you can click in here and choose whatever color you like. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna simply click back and choose this blue. Now you've got your background color, it's time to create that nice circle effect in the middle, which is gonna be the front of your highlight where everyone sees. It's simple to do this, you just gotta come into shapes and shapes can be found in elements. So click on elements, come down to shapes and click on a circle. You've now got a circle showing in the middle here. Now you don't have to worry about the size of this too much because you can change this inside Instagram. So I'm just gonna stay with this size because I'm quite happy with that. Now, I don't actually want this to be gray. I think it's gonna look better in white. So if you wanna change the color, you can just do that by clicking the, the square at the top. Click that once and I'm gonna choose white. Now I've got white chose. I actually want to make sure that I've got some kind of border on this circle and it's not just a plain white circle. So to do that, first I need to actually create another shape. I can do that by just pressing on this, press Control C on your keyboard or Command C if you're on Mac and then Control V or Command V if you're on Mac. Now I've got two circles. I wanna change this one circle here to a gray color, which is gonna be my border. Now the problem I've got is that's at the front. So another great thing I can do is just pop it at the back. So I'm first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a bit bigger by dragging the corner, press Shift Alt, drag the corner and make it a little bit bigger like that. And then when I've done it, I'm just gonna position this backwards. And now you can see I've got this lovely border around my white circle. So now we've got the circle sorted, let's get on with the design. In this tutorial, I'm just gonna use, let's say, um, a highlight for IGTV. So to do that, I wanna create a nice little icon which would show something similar to that. So I'm gonna go into elements again, make sure I'm clicked on that. And in the search bar at the top, I'm just going to type uh, video, press enter, and then it's gonna come up with a whole host of different video uh, icons and options that you can choose. Now it's worth me telling you that here, you're gonna notice a lot of them which say pro. Now that means that you've got to have the pro account, the one that I use, it's 10 pound a month. And if you don't buy the pro account, you're only gonna be able to use the free designs. Now there is quite a few free designs mingled in here, as you can see, but there is a lot more pro ones to choose from. Now it's completely up to you what you choose, but I'm gonna choose a free design for the sake of this tutorial. Um, let's see, I think this one's pretty good. Let's click on that. 
Now that's quite nice, but I don't like the red. So I'm gonna click on the square box and change the color to the blue that we've got on the outside. Okay, now what's left to do is to change the size of this because I wanna put some text in saying IGTV. Hold the corner again, press Shift and Alt, and then just decrease the size. Now, I quite like the size of that there. I'm gonna drag it up, make sure that I'm on that line which is showing up, which means it's centered, and then I'm just gonna put that about there. Next step, I want some text, and I want the text to say IGTV. So I'm gonna click on text. There's a whole host of text designs here. Now, nearly all of these are free, that's brilliant news. So I'm just gonna grab this one. That's gonna pop up here, because I've clicked on it. Now, I don't want both lines of text, so I'm gonna click on this, and then press delete, and then highlight this, and type in IGTV. Now, you can drag the corners to make it bigger or smaller, or you can change the size of the font here. Now, I'm quite happy with the size of that at the moment, but let's have a look at it under the actual icon. Okay, well, I think that looks really good. If you wanna change the color of the text, just click on it, and then you can change the color there. Now, I don't think I want it completely black, so I'm gonna just go for this charcoal gray. Okay, that's lovely. So there you go, I've now got my first highlight design sorted. But before you go anywhere, I'm gonna save you a ton of time. Probably, chances are, you actually wanna create quite a few highlights for your page. And highlights are really good to use because you can actually sell products, presets, whatever it is, by using your highlights when people click into them. This is really good for small accounts if you're under the 10,000 follower mark. So a quick way to create quite a few of these is actually to copy the design that you've currently got here. To do that, just come up to these two rectangles and click copy page. Now you can see I've got two of them. I've got everything from above. I've got the color and I've got the circle exactly how I want it. So all I've got to do now is click and delete my icon, go into elements, and let's say travel is the next one. Click on my icon for my second highlight. Once again, go to a free one for the um, sake of this tutorial. So let's see, that's pro, pro, pro. I want one of an airplane really, I think that would look cool. Um, I'm gonna go for that. Now I'm not gonna keep this pink. Good news is you can change the color. So I'm gonna change the color of this to predominantly blue. So the middle one's to change it to blue, and there you go. I've now got this lovely airplane design, which I think shows off uh, the word travel really well. I'm gonna drag this up, keep it on the line so it's centered and then change this to travel. And there you go, and that's how quick you can then start moving through your designs um, as soon as you've created your first one. Just go to this, copy it, and then change your icon and your text. Now when you've actually got all four, five, six of these, however many you want done, then you can download it. Click on this download button here, keep it as a PNG, keep the size the same because that's the dimensions for Instagram, and then press download. This is gonna download quickly on your computer. When it does, just click on your download and then put show in folder, and you're gonna to need to extract the files from this folder because it's in a zip format. So just right click, press extract all, and extract all of them to the place that you want to extract them to on your computer. You're then gonna get another folder pop-up, and in here you'll have your lovely designs that you can add onto your Instagram page. Now I'm gonna show you how to add that on your phone. If you're someone that wants to start using Instagram on your desktop though, someone that produces lots of nice photos, you edit them on your computer, so you wanna keep all of your workflow on there, I've made a, a playlist of videos which you can check out showing you how to use Instagram on your computer. And most of the ways to do this are completely free. So you should definitely check that out. That's gonna be showing at the top of the video right now. Anyway, if you're not interested in that, let's move straight into the next part, which is showing you how to just add this into Instagram on your phone. Okay, so we're now in the phone and this bit's really quick and simple to do. 
So what you want to do is you want to get your files that you've just created across to your phone. You can do that loads of different ways. I have used Google Drive, but you can use a lead to then transfer it to your computer, or sorry, from your computer to your phone via USB, or however you want to do it. But if you don't want to do it on your desktop, you can actually create or download, should I say, a app on your phone from Canva, just here. And you can do exactly the same as what you've done on the computer. Now, the reason I do it on the computer is I, I prefer the layout and I find it a bit simpler. But I know a load of you will enjoy the app just as much and then you've actually got the photos on your phone already. So click out of there and then I'm just gonna go into Google Drive and then I'm gonna download my photo. So Google Drive, then you can see that I've got it here and I'm gonna download and that's gonna download onto the phone. Now when I've done that, all I need to simply do is go over to Instagram now and then choose this for a highlight. So press on new next to the highlights already if I do that, I then don't see the option here in these photos, and that's because these are stories. Now there's a way around that. If you don't wanna add it as a story, what you can do is come into one of the previous ones that you've created highlights, and then click on it. Press edit highlight, and then press edit cover at the top. Now what you can do is choose this gallery picture at the bottom, and then simply choose the picture you've downloaded. Now, what you'll want to do is just change the size of it. I'm not gonna bother messing with it too much now. So I'm just gonna put that round about there. You can get it perfect however you want it, and then press next and done. And when you've done that, you're gonna have your cover edited, which is gonna make sure it shows up on your Instagram page. You can then obviously add or change the title here, and then turn it into IGTV or whatever you want it to be. And when you've finished editing this section, you can either take away these images and then just create other images, or by just pressing add like that, or you can alternatively just press done. And then what you can do now is you can just add this to your profile, just press add, and then this is gonna show up on your profile, as you can see right there. And that's how you create a highlight on your Instagram page. Nice and simple. And now you also know about Canva, which is brilliant for designs as well. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you want to check out Canva and make your life easy, I've put a link in the description that you can check it out there. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's an awesome one. And I'll see you in the next video.